Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. So today you guys, I bring to you another DIY using those uh, napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to need these packs of pens. They come 10 in a pack. As you can see, some of them are blue and some of them are black. It doesn't really matter as long as you use these type of pens. So what you wanna do is grab something sharp and just remove all the content. I'm sorry for my nasally voice, you guys. I'm really suffering with these allergies this year. So you're going to need about five or, or six packs, I would say. We're also going to use those diamond acrylic gems from the Dollar Tree as well. You definitely, definitely, like I always say, use your strongest glue, this Gorilla one, your E6000, or the Fix All from the Dollar Tree, along with your glue, uh, your hot glue. Very, very important. So you're going to go ahead and find your center point of your pen and along the little ledge that the napkin holder has, you're gonna glue it on there. So again, for this DIY, you're gonna need about six packs of these pens. And as you can see, I centered it and that's how it's looking. So we're gonna go ahead and use those acrylic gems. And I went ahead and eyeballed this, you guys. But if you want more accurate, um, I would go ahead and create some marks on your napkin holder. But I just kind of eyeballed it, like I said, and I spaced it out no more than half an inch, give or take. Definitely no more than half an inch. And so again, I just went ahead and did my thing here and I placed it temporarily and I'm just eyeballing it. So we're gonna start out using single pens, in other words, just one pen, but then as we go along, I'm going to double up the pens, and I'll explain to you why and how I go about doing it. And there you go, so as you glue this on, you wanna again make sure that they are straight and that they align uh, above and that they're leveled. So as you can see, you guys, the hot glue alone is not gonna hold this. Again, uh, I had to go ahead and reapply. Because of my DIYs are temporary, you guys, um, I just go ahead and use the hot glue. But if you want this to be a permanent thing, go ahead and use your strongest adhesive. So now we're gonna go ahead and place our first acrylic gem. Now when you go ahead and glue it, you wanna come a little down. And when you place your first one, you want it to uh, level up with the pens on top. So as you can see here, I'm applying the glue, but I was applying it a little further up. Um, as I go along, you will see that I come down a little bit when I'm about to glue the next one, just because you want to apply the glue so that it aligns with the pointy part of the back of the gem, if that makes sense. You see? so. That way it aligns and it, and it has a glue, it has a, a good gluing or adhesive. <laughs> so all together, you're, for each row, you're gonna be able to fit about seven gems for each row. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I am measuring or eyeballing half an inch wide placing my pen and like I said we started so far we have three single uh, pens and after this we're gonna start doubling up our pens so even when you guys are gluing these gems you want to make sure that they align uh, side to side like each gem uh, they're you know side to side they're leveled So now I'm gonna go ahead and start doubling up my pens. So you wanna glue them to the uh, napkin holder and you wanna glue them to each other as well. And again, make sure that it's, they're all leveled out and that they are, you're gluing them straight. So as you can see, we have the first pen, the gems, the second, the, and then the gems, and then the second, about three single pens, and then after that, our gems, and then now we're doubling up. Um, going forward, we're gonna go ahead and double up our pens.
And like I said, when you glue these on, you want to make sure that you apply the glue in a way that it doesn't fog up your gems or your pens as much. And again, use your strongest glue even for the gems. And just throughout the whole project, you guys, go ahead and use your strongest glue. And I can't remember how many packs of gem, but I would just to play it safe, I would say two packs of gems and like I said, six packs of the pens per sconce. Now we're doing sconce, but then later on I'm gonna show you how to make these sconces and turn them into a chandelier. And that's coming up after this. And this is what it's looking like so far. And now we're coming towards the end. And this is when, this is the reason why, um, this is where you kind of have to use your judgment because if I continue on using uh, two pens, I'm going to end up with uh, gems. And that's not how we started on the other side. We started out with a pen. So we want to finish with a pen. So I can maybe triple the pens, uh, but that's not gonna look right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the way I started and I'm going back to using my single pen so you kind of have to you know play it out use your judgment as you go along you use your spacing but if you go maybe like half an inch like I have recommended then you should be fine so again I'm just I'm trying to do the thing at the same time but I'm trying to juggle everything but this is how uh, I'm finishing off here so I'm using I think at the beginning I used three single pens but here I'm using two and nobody's really gonna notice too much because it's on the side of the sconce um, it's really not gonna be noticeable but this is just a recommendation you can you guys can use all single pens or you can double them up I like doubling them up because you can see the light through even better now you just want to go ahead and clean up all those uh, glue webs and yeah, so now uh, you're gonna grab any type of gems to hang from your scones. I These are seasonal, you can find them at any craft store. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. I have a large, medium, and small. I'm gonna stick to the medium and small, and I'm gonna alternate. So what I'm doing here is that I'm using kind of like that fishing string uh, type of ribbon. Um, you can find these at any of the craft stores, you, but you can also find it at Walmart in their camping and fishing section. Um, and so that's what I'm using. Oh, I just want to let you know when you do glue these on, this little tapered part goes in the bottom. Just make sure because I almost made a, the mistake of putting one, one on one end and then the other one on the other end. So you want it to be unison. All right, so going back to this, you're going to loop it through one uh, side of the string through one pen and one through the other pen. And then you're just going to loop it through and it's going to come out on the other side and that's how you're going to hang now you can feel free to use um, a thin wire that can also work i think it'll be more noticeable through the pens but it's whatever you want to do now with this fishing wire you cannot uh, tie it like a regular string it won't stay so what you want to do is hold the one and then take the other end and wrap it around the other one a few times once you do it about three times you want to go ahead and loop it through the bottom little hole, I guess, where you started. Not the big one, just the the one. There should be a little hole there where you, right before you start uh, wrapping the one string around. It's hard to explain, but you want to create a knot. And then once you create your knot, you can go ahead and tuck it in on top of the pen, and it won't be that noticeable, being that they're both clear. I hope that helps you guys. So this is what it's looking like so far. Like I said, I alternated between the medium and the small. You can use any type of hanging gems or you can do without. Um, as far as how to hang this, if you check out my two previous DIYs of life fixtures that I use using these napkin holders, I will link these down below. I explain step by step there how to go about hanging these. So go check those out. I'll link them down below. Um, those DIYs. You're gonna use these push lights. I recommend you use the uh, remote control ones. Um, I think I have a link to those down in the, um, my description box for Amazon. Uh, this way you don't have to be fiddling with it and going back and forth. You could just have a remote control. But for now I'm using the ones from the Dollar Tree. And you want to go ahead and glue the base down. 
and then you could just twist it off to change your batteries I ended up not even doing this I basically just took the light and propped it right on top um, upside down kind of like this but on top and I just left it there and it was no problem at all but you feel free to glue it down and so this is what it's looking like so far you guys I absolutely love the way it turned out um, I love the fact that I use I doubled up the pens because like I said it lets the light shine through even more you can use again uh, any gems to hang from them this one I'm just showing you that you don't have to hang um, gems from the bottom so either look that you want to go for you can do um, but yeah, I was looking around Dollar Tree and thinking, oh my gosh, what can I use to resemble something clear uh, for a chandelier or scones? And um, I said, you know what, like, it's good to go all over every part of uh, Dollar Tree, even the stationery. And there, you know, I saw the pens and I was like, okay, I can use this. And then you just take the content out and it just resembles um, some kind of like a crystal or clear part of a chandelier, right? Let me know what you guys uh, think about this. Uh, let me know if you would hang the gems in the bottom or you will do without. Uh, let me know if you plan to recreate this and where would you put it in your home? So yeah, give me a thumbs up you guys. It kind of lets me know that you are liking this idea and that you are loving this video and that you are going to try it. So now coming up, I'm going to show you another little trip. Actually, my husband came up with this and um, that you can give these pens a different look for your sconce or chandelier so basically you're gonna take any kind of paper this is a, a gold you can use silver foil wrapping paper from Dollar Tree and you're going to um, cut a little piece and you're gonna basically you know use a skewer like you, you know I'm showing you here you just basically want to wrap it up like this and then you want to go ahead and put it inside the pen and it's just gonna create the illusion that it's a different color isn't that pretty I thought this is another option and so yeah go babe thanks for the idea he came up with that <laughs> so that was good and yeah so now I'm going to show you how to uh, create a chandelier out of this so obviously the other scones didn't have the hanging gems I went ahead and completed that you're gonna grab some kind of a thin but strong wire I got this from the Dollar Tree you're gonna double it up any wire that you have um, and you're gonna go ahead and start joining these two together and doubling it you know just going around it a few times just make sure that it's nice and snug and secure and as you join these two together again you want to make sure that everything aligns you want to make sure that one uh, napkin holder is not overlapping the other that's very important and so now you want to go ahead and even in that middle part you want to twist it in there you just go crazy in there and twist it all together just make sure it's nice and snug and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well This is what I was telling you make sure it's nice and snug and that little part right there you want to make sure it's nice and flush together one is not overlapping the other and you want to go ahead and obviously do the bottom as well so obviously there's gonna be a gap go ahead and use your glue to reinforce it um, there's gonna be a gap on either side and now we're just gonna go ahead and apply more of our acrylic gems to just make it look unison So this is an option for you guys. I will leave the link for this down below. Um, this is an option that you can use to hang it. These are these like acrylic uh, strands that have little rings, little rings in between them. Um, they come in a really long strand, and you can intertwine the wire through them, so it's not as visible. And then you can use this to hang it, uh, however long or short you want it to be from your ceiling. So this is definitely an option and I will again leave that link down below. I did not end up using this. I will show you coming up what I did end up using. As you can see, what I ended up using was the pens, more pens, four on either side. So I looped the wire, uh, the wire through the pens and I determined how far down I wanted it to come down and that's what I ended up using, you guys. And I think that this gives it a different look from the uh, typical chandelier strands that you normally see and I think it looks beautiful 
and I had that hook already in my ceiling. Please excuse my popcorn ceiling, you guys. Yes, they do still exist, and I have one. <laughs> but yeah, so you want to go ahead and make sure that you measure it out how you want it to come, how far you want it to come down. And I, I love the way it looks with the pens, but again, you can use whatever it is that you like. Yeah, you guys, let me know what you think about this. As you can see, I added the longer acrylic gems. You can hang as many or as little and whatever type that you want. I think this is beautiful over a dining table on either side of your nightstands in the bedroom or even like a small walk-in closet, um, you know, that you guys might have. And I think it's just gorgeous. Please, please let me know what your thoughts are. Give me a thumbs up. It'll let me know that you like it. You want to see more from me. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And for those that continue to follow me, I love each and every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.